Hi, and welcome back. You know, as always, I have a lot of enthusiasm when we do these videos because it's just so fun to share with everybody what we've been up to and some of the thought processes behind these custom coaches that Renegade's building for us. Today, we're gonna go inside of this 2018 Renegade Classic that we call the IWS Signature Series. And I talked about it on the exterior video, but the reason we call it our Signature Series is all of the elements in this are things that we are proud to put our name on. Um, me being the owner of the company, this is how I've equipped my own personal coach and it's something we're really proud of. So without further ado, let's go ahead and enter inside this coach and start talking about all of the features. So one of the first things I wanna point out as we begin to enter the coach is just the electric step that comes in and out. It's really right here where Renegade starts setting the tone in quality. This step is not a cheesy, flimsy step. You know, I'm almost 250 pounds. I step right on this step. It doesn't flex, it doesn't bend, and the quality really starts there. As we move up into the stairwell, you can see on this coach, we did everything in bed liner so you could sweep it, and hose it out. You'll also notice the Renegade boot step underneath where you can kick your shoes off and slide them up underneath that step. We don't show it in the video here, but there are LED side lights on each side of the aisleway, so the step well is all illuminated at night uh, when you go out. There's also a cover you can put over. As we move inside the coach and turn around, you can kind of see where the cover would go. It's so hard on these videos to make sure we cover every single element. One of the things I'd like to point out here in this is you can see where we've hung the coat hooks. So when you come inside, if it's rainy outside or snowy, you can hang your coats over the door there. And then the water's gonna drip down onto that beautiful bed-lined entryway. It works out really nice. Here's another element that I wanna point out, and this is just some of the effort that we go through to try to make sure this coach is perfect in every way. We started asking Renegade to mount these switches to a piece of wood. So if you come in and your hands are a little bit dirty, you're not getting your fingerprints on the padded vinyl wall behind it. Just another neat little element. Another thing I wanna point out is we label all the switches uh, here at IWS, so it's very easy to know which switch does what. You can see the top three switches there for your outside security lights that we've talked about on the exterior video. Here's just another shot of the left-hand side of the entryway. I'm just kind of pointing out the quality here. As you can see, the fit and finish of these is just phenomenal. This is just a truly beautiful coach. As you can see here with all the cabinet doors open, there's lots of storage inside of this coach. I'll point out on this one, we put the trash can underneath the stove, but it would be very easy to remove the shelves on that cabinet to the left of it. Move the trash can there, there's lots of choices. Here on the slide out drawer, you can see that it's all dovetail construction and uh, soft closed door slides on them. It's kind of hard you know, when I was remodeling our home to understand why cabinets from each manufacturer could be so much difference in price until you've really had high quality handcrafted cabinets like Renegade produces. To me, there's just no going back to a lesser quality. Truly handcrafted cabinets by absolute, some of the best craftsmen in the industry. And it just takes a moment to notice it when you see them. Renegade's installed a full-size residential sink with a double sink on it. They use a residential style faucet with a pull-out head on it. There's nothing RV about this. It's all high quality. Another thing we do when we order our coaches is we specify two 110 outlets so you can have toaster, coffee pot, cell phone charger. You can see here's the 1.5 cubic foot convection microwave. Again, this is a residential style microwave with a convection oven. I said it over and over, me and my wife liked ours so much, we actually installed one at our home because we like the convection cooking portion of it. It cooks very similar to a regular residential oven. Another thing to point out is Renegade vents the microwave to the outside. So as you're you know, cooking, it's venting the, the fumes to the outside of the coach. Here's the true induction cooktop. We've pretty much been doing these standard on all of our RVs. It's just been working out phenomenal. 
They cook great. It gives you lots of counter space. You don't have to take the covers on and off, and we're just very, very pleased with it. Another option that our customers have really been pleased with is this 18 cubic foot refrigerator and freezer. It's a residential style, so it's all electric. This coach has plenty of battery power and a, a huge inverter on it, so there's no issues with running the refrigerator all day without the generator on. You're gonna make lots of power in this coach. We also have solar panels up on the roof, large generator. It's just very well thought out in our minds and very well built. Here's another added feature that we started doing. Instead of going with the traditional flex steel recliner, we've been opting for the Lambeth recliner. What we like about this is it's designed for taller people and it's a true wall away recliner. So you can set it up close to the wall. It's also a, has a swivel base on it. It's just a fantastic recliner, but you know, it's an extra thousand dollars to the cost of the coach, but we just really feel it's worth every penny. You can see we've designed these cabinets over the top with some extra reading lights in them. And you can see here to the left of the recliner, we've designed that custom cabinet. So you can set your remote control there for your TV. There's a spot for a drink to set there. We put a USB charger so you can charge your cell phone. We put the reading light switch all easy. I like to say this is command center. So either the king or queen of the coach, your choice can sit here kick back, enjoy some television, or just a nice spot to read. Another neat feature that we've done for some customers is we've actually removed the recliner and built a nice desk in here, and that would be very easy to do on this coach. And then we can mount TV monitors to each of them walls or computer monitors. It's just a very useful space. Me personally, I really enjoy having the recliner there and just the ability to kick back in the evening. Now, as we move around to the dinette, just kind of want to draw your attention to the windows here. So some of the things we've been doing on our signature series is deleting the overhead cabinets and putting in a larger picture window. The traditional window is like the one on the left. The reason we haven't been putting them behind the dinette or sofa is because we don't like that black bar. We really want that picture window. So when you're looking outside and you're camping, you, get a, you just get an unobstructed, beautiful view of the outside. It's resonating very well with our customers and it's something we're really proud of to be offering here at IWS. Also notice we're doing an all wood balance. It seems to be very, again, something that our customers are really drawn to and enjoying. As you can see, we are using our standard flex steel dinette. It's just something that over and over our customers love it. It's got a nice curve to it. It's got great storage underneath it. We've used all upgraded ultra leather fabrics. It's just soft and supple. In the summer, you don't stick to it. It's not cold in the winter. It's just a fantastic fabric. And it's something that's, it's an optional upgrade that we've been doing. You can also see here, we've done padded walls on it. It's in almost a, just a light slate gray color. I think it really works well. Here you can see we put dual outlets, 110 and USB outlets underneath the dinette table. So each of you can charge your own cell phone or your laptop when you're sitting at the dinette. The lighting elements in this coach are just fantastic too. There's lots of light switches so that you can adjust the light levels. Lots of storage you can see in the overhead cabinets here. When you go to this classic, this thing has a seven foot six inch interior height. So we can put quite a bit taller cabinets in it, really get a lot more storage in it. We've installed the flex steel sofa. You know, I just can't say good and enough good things about this sofa. It also makes out into a air mattress on it. Um, I've slept on these quite a bit. It's, it's really nice. You can vary the air pressure. Another thing I want you to notice is when we design our floor plan, Instead of doing a kick out on the counter, like a lot of people do, we kept it straight so that you have plenty of room to walk in and out of the coach here when the sofa's out. A lot of these things are, you know, people don't think about in the beginning and they regret it as they own a motorhome. You know, we really try to listen to our customers and, and do what's in their best interest. You can also see this sofa has three seat belts. So you can uh, take up to three extra passengers with you and seat belt them in there. 
We also have a 110 outlet and a USB charger there. So if you have a kid, they can plug in their iPad or their Nintendo DS. Lots of power right there where you need it. Also the viewing angle from the sofa for the kids to watch TV when you're traveling down the road. You know, the TV's just straight across. It's real easy to see. And it, it just seems to be working out very, very well in this, in our signature series floor plan. Something we're just really proud of. Now, as we move back into the middle of the coach, we've now entered into the, the bathroom on this coach and it is just spectacular. You can see there's a really nice corner shower in this coach. You can also see a beautiful handcrafted medicine cabinet. We've also installed a vessel bowl sink in it. Nice handcrafted vanity underneath it. It's just really elegant and just very well built. It's just, you really need to see this thing to really appreciate the craftsmanship in it. Now we're gonna move back over and go through the shower a little bit more in detail. Some of the feedback we've been getting is people want to have us talk a little more about some of these amenities or features that they'll be using on a day in and day out basis. This shower has really nice curved doors that um, when they open up, it's really easy to get in and out of the shower. It's something that's very important, you know, to a lot of people. A nice seat in it so that you can sit down in there. It also has a skylight over the top, so it lets in a lot of natural light. I haven't put a tape in it, but I think you're about seven foot, six inches, seven foot, eight inches to the top of the skylight. So there's tons of room in here. It has a really nice uh, stainless steel faucet in it. It's just a very well thought out, very enjoyable shower. You forget, you truly do forget that you're in an RV when you're using this shower. Now we're gonna move into the toilet room and I'm gonna spend a little more time in here again I think we're starting to get a little ahead of ourselves, assuming that all of our customers understand what a macerator toilet is. So I kind of want to go back through it a little bit. So let's start out with, this is a macerator toilet. It's all porcelain. Some of the neat features about a macerator system is you don't have to use RV toilet paper because there's a pump in the bottom and it grinds and emulsifies the waste so that it sends a slurry down into the tank. Another neat feature is you can easily touch the buttons and control the amount of water level that's inside of the toilet. Press number one for one, number two for two. But when it's time to travel, if you push both of them at the same time, it drains all the water out of the bowl so water isn't sloshing back and forth. Typical RV toilets are really low. These are a nice tall toilet. Whether you're traveling in them and staying two or three days at a time or you're living in them, having a nice toilet, a nice shower, and a nice vanity really make all the difference in enjoying your experience. And this is part of what separates a luxury motor coach from an average run-of-the-mill motor coach is the thought that goes into all of these. You can see there's a nice overhead cabinet over it. There's also an, uh, an additional light there for reading. Just very well thought out and well executed. Here you can see the corner vanity in it. There's a spot for a trash can underneath, stainless steel under mount sink on it. We put an extra 110 outlet if you want to run an electric shaver. This is really nice because you can have his and her sinks, you know, in medicine cabinets, um, or it's a great guest bathroom, however you want to use it. Now we're going to move back and show you the washer dryer and the linen closets. As you can see, we've done an all-in-one washer dryer in here. And part of the reason we did an all-in-one is they've really come a long way. I know uh, all-in-ones have seemed to have had a bad rap over the years. And I think a lot of the reason is, is that it's because they weren't vented. And this is a vented dryer. Now, is a stacked washer and dryer better? Yeah, you could wash more clothes. They dry a little bit faster. But the main reason we did an all-in-one in this is because we wanted you to have more room for linen closets above it. And as you can see here, by not having to put an extra dryer on the top, we really created a lot of extra big cabinet space. You can haul extra blankets here, extra sleeping bags, 
We also had a rod installed in the top so you could take the shelves out if you wanted more uh, storage for dresses and coats and things like that. We just wanted you to have choices and I just want you to know that tons of thought went into choosing whether we do an all-in-one or a stacked washer dryer. You know, the cost is the same. It's just trying to figure out what we think is the best for our customers and the best utilization of space. Now, as we move around into the master bedroom, you can see the wardrobe area. This is a custom IWS design. We've been working with customers and we dial it in as we go. Same thing with the rear window. A lot of people really love the amount of light that it lets in. There's a little nice storage over the top of the bed. This coach has a mini king bed in it and we did an ortho rest bed, so we've upgraded it. This bed is 66 inches wide and 80 inches long, so it works really well for taller people. You can see the lights over the top of the bed. There's different lighting elements, so you have reading lights, uh, you have night lights. The nightstands are great. You can set your remote control there, a water bottle. You can keep a gun right beside your bed. Also, with the 110 outlets on each side of the nightstand, you can each have your own charging station. There's also a generator start button here right beside the bed, so if you know, battery power is getting low. You can just reach over and start the generator without having to get out of bed. Another big feature that's become very popular is our ceiling fan. Not only does it add some good color, it, it really helps to move the air. But another thing I want to point out right here is I want you to notice where we are locating the rear vent. And we put that ceiling vent clear to the back of the motorhome. And the reason we do that is on a nice fall evening, you can crack the kitchen window open and turn that fan on and it's going to bring cool air through the coach and over the top of the bed and vent it out. If we had mounted that vent more to the front of the coach, it wouldn't pull the cool air across the bed. This is the upgraded vents, so it has kind of like an accordion shape to it so that you can use this when it's raining outside. You can also use it when you're driving down the road. It also has an in and out feature, so you can either blow air in or suck air out. You know, to a, an average person, they don't even notice it, the, the effort that we're putting into just the vent placement on, on every coach. Now we're gonna show you our IWS wardrobe closet, and again, it's something we're very proud of. And some of the things that we're doing that we really feel that not only sets us apart, but it's in the customer's best interest over the long haul is you can see instead of doing glass in the AV cabinet where the DVD player and everything's kept, we're requesting that expanded metal goes there so the heat can vent out of it. We're having lights installed in the wardrobe closet. You can see that we have four nice drawers on it, so each of you can have a sock drawer and an underwear drawer. We've also put this nice counter underneath the TV so you have a place to set your billfold. Something that's really nice that is with that counter underneath the television most of the ladies can set their makeup on that counter and then what you do is slide the slide out in for the bed and then you can sit on the edge of the bed and you have a beautiful makeup counter and it just works out really neat it's just kind of another nice added feature you know this is a motorhome I you really need to see in person to appreciate it all from the tile floors to the hardwood cabinets it's just a breathtakingly gorgeous coach now we're going to move up into the front of the coach and do our best to kind of show you some of the features that we've installed up here. As we look into this upper cabinet above the driver's compartment, you can see we put in another 110 outlet. So you have another place, if you have a satellite phone, you can charge it here. It's a great place compartment there for the driver of the coach to keep important papers. You can keep a laptop up there, maps. It's just a very handy compartment. Now as we move around into the overhead compartment, you can see this is really the brains of the coach. There's a generator start button. The RV power monitor below it is, what that is, is that we put a surge guard on this coach so it monitors the incoming power and it's always making sure that the coach doesn't get more voltage than is required. We had Renegade put the control station here so it's very easy to see. The next panel over is where you'll turn on your compartment lights, you can monitor your propane levels, your water levels, as well as your waste tanks. 
You can also see here we've installed a solar panel monitor. There's an auto generator start program a control station. And then the heating and cooling thermostats all right there. I really want to assure you when you buy a coach from us that we do a video of each one of these and we put it on our Advantage package, which goes onto a personal iPad that we make for you and your coach. So if you get out on the road and you don't remember how to operate the auto gen start control, you can just watch one of our videos. Another thing that we do is we give you everybody's cell phone number here at our shop. We answer the phone 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I want you to know it's not that you're just buying a luxury motorhome, but you're getting luxury service along with it. This is where the WineGuard controller is for the satellite, the Blu-ray player, the Onkyo stereo system. It has a in-ceiling home entertainment speakers. It's just a fantastic sound system. But also notice, instead of putting glass in it, we went with the expanded metal to try to help keep the heat out of there. We've also asked Renegade to install an air conditioning vent in there to help keep these components uh, nice and cool so they'll last and last. Now we're gonna move down into this Freightliner Cascadia cab, and I get so excited about this. You know, this is the exact same cab that I have on my own personal coach. It's just incredibly easy to drive. You know, we're always talking internally that nobody really believes us how easy these things are to drive and what the comfort level of them is. I know it can seem a little bit intimidating looking at the switches, but every one of them serves a purpose and they're very intuitive. You know, this particular chassis is a million mile plus chassis. This is a chassis that was designed for truckers with sleeper teams to run these things 24 hours a day up and down the highways. So everything is very well thought out. You can see here there's a footwell light that you can turn on that'll illuminate around your brake and throttle pedal. There's traction control button. You have a mirror heat switch right there. Just everything is just very easy. And again, I wanna assure you that we're gonna spend lots of time coaching you up. And we have a great driving course. We'll teach you and your wife uh, or your significant other. We'll make sure we really spend a lot of time in getting you very comfortable with this coach. Another thing that we've been doing on our signature series is we're upgrading the stereo package in it and it's just phenomenal when you listen to the sounds of this. And not only are we upgrading the stereo, We've linked it all into your iPad so that you can be playing music while you're going down the road. Another thing that we do, and we're starting to try to really showcase this, is this is a nice shot with the slides in. So one of the things that we've always tried to do here at IWS is design our motor coaches, especially our signature series, that when the slide is in, you have full access to the coach because we know you're gonna pull off on an off ramp or pull into a rest area and not be able to put your slides out. So we want you to be able to use the microwave, the stove, the sink, have access to the refrigerator, be able to stop and make a sandwich and sit down in the dinette without having to put the slides out. Also have full access to the shower, the sink, and the toilet, all with the slides in. The only thing that you have a little bit of limited access is getting into the master bedroom because the bed and the wardrobe slides, uh, closets do come in, but there's still plenty of room in there to lay on the bed if you were laying diagonal. I really want you to really understand the value and the how, how we put our heart and soul into each of these coaches that we design. And I really want you to know if you were to fly out here from the East Coast that we're not wasting your time. I mean, the, the value, everything we're talking about on this motorhome is what you're gonna touch and feel when you get here. It's just absolute extreme quality at the highest level. Well, we've reached the end of this video. And as always, I wanna thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch this video. And I sure look forward to hearing from you or have you stop by and take a test drive and walk around and see not just the coaches, but meet our staff, see our facility, and and get to know one another. Thanks again for your time and hope to see you soon.